check it. Hey, check it. Put the place up.
Hi everyone. How's it going everybody? Party time in here. Hello everyone, welcome back Train Sim World. We're continuing with the German cargo passenger line that we started on Thursday. And uh, boy, is this gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, let's see, so far in our previous live stream, we did the tutorial and learned how to drive two of the trains. And then we did uh, Rise and Shine. We set up some trains and hauled another uh, train through a nighttime storm. Pretty epic, dude. Today we're going to haul some uh, steel and logs and then haul some other stuff too. Lots to do today. Whew. It's going to be a big one. All right. Hey, you know what would be really cool too, by the way, guys? Uh, what would be awesome is if uh, you guys haven't already... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop my Steam group link down here. Uh, YouTube's some kind, sometimes unreliable about, like, uh, you know, somebody going live or something like that. So if you want to absolutely make sure you never miss a live stream or whatnot, join our Steam group right there. I'm going to spam it in chat a couple times, and then you guys can go ahead and click the join button on that group, and you'll get notices whenever I go live, or you can always ask a question in there or see what games we're playing, that kind of thing, or just chat or game with other people. Get links to the Discord, all that stuff through there. Hi everyone, how are we doing here today? Today's going to be a big one. We're doing cargo hauls. We're doing a freight exchange here, like I mentioned. We're going to first haul some steel and then come back with some... Uh, we're, oh, we're actually going to uh, deliver a load of lumber to a nearby paper mill. And then the next one is we're going to take some empty uh, wagons uh, up to somewhere to pick up some other cargo. So that should be pretty cool. Then tomorrow, a big O storm haul. There's going to be a deadly storm. Rain... And passengers are going to need to get through there. So we're going to see if we can do that. But first, let's get started then. Operate the latest shipment. Or, uh, wait. Well, that's a weird way to put that. Operate the latest shipment? It should, like, say haul. Haul the latest shipment of steel outbound to customers before delivering a trainload of lumber to a nearby paper mill. All right. Uh, PC specs are down below in the description there, one, one Y dude. Check that description for more information. Hobo cars? Uh, I guess there kind of will be. Some, well, no, there won't be box cars, but um, yeah, you guys can climb aboard. All right, again, if you want to climb aboard, click or tap that subscribe button. Your name will pop up here, and uh, I will go ahead and give you a shout out for doing so. If you'd like to join us and become a member of the Grilled Cheese Gang, go ahead and click or tap that join button, and you can get access to a ton of different emotes. And if you like trains here today, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more. Uh, what time is the next video? Check the description. 90% uh, of your questions, everyone, uh, can be answered by just checking the description. So if you got a question, quick click, quickly click or tap the description. Let's go. All right, so we've got ourselves a new train to haul. I haven't been on this one before, so we'll see exactly what we can do uh, for this one. Or, well, I, I don't think I've used this train before. Maybe we did in the, in the rain one. I don't know. It seems a little different. All right, let's see. Ooh, this is going to be cool. Oh, it's another foggy day. Oh, we better use our uh, German accent. A steel train has been loaded, yeah. Um, we're going to need to haul it much now, yeah. I think that's what that says. All right, let's see. A steel train is uh, down the uh, down the train track. So I think down there, there's a waiting train for us. We're going to essentially back up by driving forward, connect to it, and then go to our destination. <laughs> is this game on PC? No, it's on PC, Xbox, and PS4. All right, let's go ahead and charge the battery. Ready? All right, let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, reverse her to neutral. I already know this by heart without even looking. And then we're going to, uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, and then we got to wait for this uh, bar to get up to, like, 3.5. The real number is 4.8 is what the minimum charge should be. But for whatever reason, uh, it doesn't it doesn't let us uh, go until whatever. I don't know. Can you get a shout-out? Sure. Let me go ahead and give you a shout-out. Let me go ahead and get my gun here. Hold on a second. Let me get my gun. We go. Sh shout out to Diamond TNT the gamer. Thanks very much for your support. All right, let's set her to forward. Test the brakes. We'll pull her back to uh, full service. Then up to uh, B2 or B1 or 1B, I guess in this case. All right, raise the pantograph and close main circuit breaker. Activate the lights of the train. Brights. Disengage parking brake. 
All right, we are ready to go. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's see. Wait, push forward. There we go. And let's go ahead and cruise forward. Well, what? Oops. Finger was on the wrong button. <laughs> that explains that. Boy, this train can really move. It's very slow starting when it has cargo attached, but it can really get moving quick. Yeah, if you guys want a shout-out, you'll have to become a sponsor. So go ahead and click or tap that join button down below, and you get all the shout-outs you want. All right, now we got to hook up to our cargo ahead of us, so I just need to uh, take, a, take a look here. Uh, why is Streamlabs not working? It's probably on Streamlabs. But there should be a link down below if you want to support that way. Or you can always drop a super chat. Okay, so we're going to have to stop up here at about 360 yards. And we're going to have to ask for permission, I'm assuming, to go further in order to connect to those train cars in front of us. No, you're not late, Fire Nation. You guys are always on time. All right, about 160 yards. This train stops pretty quick. So let's see what happens if we just put it in one A braking. Yeah, that's going to be pretty pretty perfect right there. I just don't want to stop short of it. Full service. All right, request access. Proceed at restricted speed. Okay. All right, so this is going to be a little bit uh, tricky here. We don't want to go too fast. So now we essentially we just want to ram into this car in front of us. But not like a crazy ram, you know. All right, stop against the train and collect the cup connect couplers. Okay, let's do that. So we need to be a little bit closer in order to do this. One thing I've noticed before on some of these missions is some of these trains don't have a hit marker. So if you bump into them, you actually go through the train, which in real life, these trains are meant to be rammed together. That's why they have these gigantic bumpers here like that. Mr. Blob, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for becoming a sponsor. Enjoy your new emotes. Chatters, let's welcome Mr. Blob. Thank you very much for your support. All right, let's go ahead and roll forward just a little bit. I just don't want to hit this train car too hard because I know we're going to go through it. Okay, maybe that's better. Oh, good. That worked. Oh, see, ooh, look, it, see, it was kind of glitched. It went through it a little bit. Good thing we did that. Okay, master switch to off. Set train brake to release. And then deactivate lights. And we're going to go the other way. All right, we're ready. We're all hooked up and ready to go. Can you be a member? Yes, you can. Go ahead and click or tap that join button to become a member here today. New member, welcome. There you go. Just like Mr. Blob. Wow, that was delayed. Okay, let's hop into this train and let's get going. Activate lights. Reverser to forward. Oh, we got a test braking. Okay. Set train brake to position 1B. Oh, release train brake. Okay. All right, we're out of here, folks. Here we go. Ready? It's going to take a little bit more power now that we're hauling a gigantic uh, train full of steel. So this is our train now. Not too long, but there's definitely some German steel aboard. So we're going to need a little bit of uh, power, I think, to get out of here. There we go. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, so now we need to head down the line 5.7 miles to our next destination in order to uh, drop off the steel for the Panzers. Yeah, and then we'll have to pick up uh, some lumber and haul it back to the uh, 
haul some lumber back to the, the paper mill. Shout out only members can get a shout out. So if you want to uh, have a gun fired off in your honor, just click or tap that enjoy button, my man. Ammunition ain't cheap. Uh, quite a few, actually, Fire Nation. Every time I don't stream, we lose a couple because, you know, that's just how the game works. So I think we're probably still off, short off by five. Is the steel for war? Yeah, it can be for anything. Yes, this train is part of a DLC. This is known as the Ruhr Sig uh, Route Add-on. Um, it is the newest one for Train Sim World, and it is pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't really like the first mission or the last mission, but these, this one here, I do like. This is pretty, pretty cool. City Skylines will be later today. There, uh, Pranav. Sometime in a few hours. Pretty cool train. Somehow got unsubbed. Oh, that's YouTube making that decision for you. We'll be choosing what you watch. Thank you. Nine hundred hours of cat videos. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, no, I'd actually like to watch some home improvement videos. Oh, and I like Raptor. No, not anymore. It will be cats and golf cart crashing compilations. Uh, uh, uh. The YouTube has spoken. Applaud. You want We Happy Few? That looks like a good game. I hear nothing but good good things about it. All right, so now we got to go five miles to our destination. And I think we can really open her up now. All right, let's pick up some speed. Throttle is approved to go up to like 75 miles an hour. Mm. Or at least in 500 yards. Now we can start speeding. Boy, that's a really beautiful town just I really need to see more traffic in this game in order to make it seem more lively you know it's like nine o'clock in the morning nobody's gonna be like not sleeping namaste love from India okay thank you appreciate that uh, today I think we'll be working on our port in city skylines we're gonna expand upon the port and waterfront a bit more and then uh, tomorrow's gonna be, be uh, working on the big stadium Hello, Thomas B. How's it going, man? Oh, there goes a train. Oh, passengers. Wave, everyone. I hope you all waved quick. That was a fast one. Also, I don't know what the rules about honking for uh, crossings are in Germany. Maybe you don't have to. I don't know. Maybe this is a non-honk zone. Ooh, look at all the... Gosh, these houses are beautiful. I love seeing a little home with, a, like, a giant hill and some trees. This is gorgeous. Yeah, Northeast Corridor passenger trains... That is one we've done before. Okay, we've reached our maximum speed now. Wow, we're going awfully fast. Look at this thing go. Jeez. Boy, that sounds really good. I love the sounds for that one. It's nice watching this. Well, awesome, Thomas. Glad I could entertain. Can it derail? Mm, yeah, I suppose. This is a p pretty fast train, fa uh, Fire Nation. We are maxing out. It's interesting. The speed limit here is 75. I don't know why it's freaking out at 75. We're okay. This train is awesome. I want to do more trains in, like, uh, Eastern Europe now. I hope they have high-speed high lines, too. Great distances. So I would hope so. Electric trains are just boss. Uh-oh. 2.5 miles. We have to go down to 25 miles an hour. All right. Well, we'll have to get ready to stop. Or at least slow down a bit. Do, do. do I sell any merchandise? Yes, there is some uh, merchandise down below. Actually, let me go ahead and link our Teespring for you. 
And if you're interested in picking up a Crazy Dinosaur mug or a t-shirt or whatnot, go ahead and click on that store there. Lots of people buy that merchandise. It's, a lot of people like to buy the, the pillows and the, uh, and the coffee mugs. So I'm thinking they must watch my content. Uh, and then they probably just fall asleep <laughs> watching it, and then they just need to lay down on one of my pillows. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Half mile, or one and a half miles now to our destination. We're going to have to slow down a little bit faster than normal. There goes another train. Oh, there goes the log. Sweet. Boy, this train really stops nicely. That's one thing I gotta remember too is that we can essentially slow down very quickly. Uh, Eastern Europe high speed, mostly 160 kilometers an hour on one line. Isn't that fast? 160? For a train, anyway, right? I'm gonna sp speed up a little bit to 25. Portugal has a 300-kilometer uh, high speed. Wow. Dude, that's what I want to do is uh, a world tour of just riding trains. You guys can all come along. We'll sit on a train together. I'll probably just end up eating a sandwich most of the time. And I'll be like, yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, so now we're just going to coast. I didn't need to stop that fast, but... Uh, are you secretly planning to build an army to take over the world? Is that why we need the steel? Um, well, secretly, no. The world knows it. The, the world knows we're taking over with this runaway train of uh, mediocre at best entertainment. Uh, Jesus Subnautica is just too old now. The way the YouTube game works is that the algorithm and you guys just don't promote and don't watch stuff that's not like brand new, brand spanking new. Unless it's just the same thing over and over again, like a Roblox compilation, Minecraft compilation, Fortnite compilation, Brick Rigs compilation. I have to do like 75 Brick Rig videos of just the same uh, airplane going into the same buildings over and over again in order for the algorithm to reward me. That's how it works. Krupp Steel is best deal. Hey, Will, how's it going, man? Always lovely to see Will around here. Miles per hour better than I w To be honest, I prefer to use kilometers if I could. I'm only using, uh, I guess I suppose this game has default miles per hour and yards for me, but I would prefer to. I w you know, actually, I would prefer not even to use that. Well, Romano, I'm talking about the uh, algorithm in, in general, is what I mean. <laughs> but, I mean, that's. I mean, I know, I know the rules, I know how it works, but I just can't stand doing that over and over again. We all know how it works. But me, I'm very, uh, gosh, I, I couldn't do, I couldn't do the same game over. Like, I get, I'll get bored of this game as soon as I beat it. There'll be a time where I don't play this anymore. Okay, so we've got 2.3 miles to our next destination. Okay. Stellinium is best deal? Yes, you can change it to metric, yeah. I'm just keeping it on miles per hour because I don't even want to go into the controls and fiddle with it. To be honest, I want to be able to drive a train at one point to where I don't have to use any of these on-screen prompts, and I can just uh, do it all realistically to where um, I can, you know, just do it by driving and paying attention to the signals. Did you guys see that there's a new trains coming out? Trains 19, like in four days, I think you can get early access to it. So a new trains game was announced. And somebody uh, dropped the trailer this morning. I'm going to see if I can contact them and get access to it. Because that seems like the type of game I'd want to play. More trains. Especially like, uh, you know, it looked like they had Canada. Like some Canadian, just beautiful rail lines in Canada. That kind of thing. Take your joy pill. I thought this, I thought watching me was your joy pill for the day. Uh, no, I, I was never in the military. Uh, to be honest, most of my knowledge of video game uh, comes through video games. Originally, when I started playing games, I was playing games like Red Alert and Red Alert 2. And those were strategy games that allowed you to command tanks, but I knew those weren't real-life tanks. When games like, for example, Blitzkrieg came around, and then eventually games like uh, World in Conflict, and then eventually war game European Escalation, to where they used real 
trains and real trucks and real troops and real carriers and real planes and helicopters and all that stuff. Then that's when I started to find out, you know, exactly what everything was and how it functioned. And the learning curve in those games are steep. Anybody who says so-and-so sucks at that game, <laughs> they should be more kind because that's a very difficult game to learn. I mean, you have to... Uh, if you're a member of a specific military, essentially you just need to learn your own vehicles and how they function um, and then what the enemy looks like, but you have to be a master of everything in those games, both you know, the Soviets, the Americans, the Canadians, the Germans. You have to know how they work, both for you and against you. And it's the same with games like this, too. You need to know how this train works in and out. You guys keep asking me to play Hearts of Iron, I know, but I don't think I ever will because I, I just don't know how it... I just don't know how it works. And uh, if I'd have to learn that system, it'd be an uphill climb. And if I did something wrong... Uh, when it comes to games like uh, competitive strategy games, if you make a mistake or a mispronunciation, people will be all over you. And it's really disheartening. Like, I don't, I don't play these games just to be corrected by a bunch of, uh, you know, armchair t general teenagers who are just like, It's actually pronounced that! It's used to that! It's like, okay. <laughs> We're just playing for fun. Alright, so... Oh, wow! Bulgarian trains are 200 kilometers an hour? That is awesome. Sprechen Deutsch? Sprechen nicht Deutsch. Okay, we got 2.4 miles to our destination now. This is a... Look at how wide open this train track is. This is beautiful. Alright, we can pick up speed here in a second. Am I trains gender? Well, sometimes I identify as a steam train. Actually, speaking of which, that trains game did have steam trains, which made me really excited. Trains uh, 19, I think it's called. You might, you guys might want to seriously look into this because it had, it looked like it had diesel, electric, steam, and I think electric high-speed trains too. So it might be something really cool. Like I'm, I'm really gonna look for this one. Cause I didn't realize I would enjoy trains as much as I did. Trains 19, is that what it's called? Okay. Actually, Mr. Blob, you were the one who shared that. Thank you. Yeah, these types of games are great because I can pay attention to the tracks for a little bit and then immediately interact with you guys. You do job or just streams? Uh, I do a job. I'm a compliance analyst on the side. It's not even like... I, I don't even do that job anymore... Um, for, like, the money. You know, I just do it for, uh, you know, like the 401k and the healthcare. Because uh, YouTube's way more rewarding, both financially and also, uh, you know, I get to talk to you guys on the daily. Or pretty, pretty frequently. Japanese bullet trains? Absolutely. I am looking forward to doing any sort of high-speed train that uh, Trains 19 might have, or Train Sim World. If they add some sort of DLC that allows you to go to Japan or uh, anywhere where they might have high-speed rail. I'm totally down with it. Alright, 1.4 miles to our destination. We are hauling steel from here to the steel, the steel house. I don't even know what steel mill is in German. And then uh, we're going to come back with some logs for the paper mill. How long have I been on YouTube? Um, well, the channel's been here since 2005, but I really didn't start making videos until about maybe four years ago. Oh, wow. Sonali. Thanks for the 20, my man. Very kind of you. Thank you. Well, I gotta remember, like the break, the braking on these trains is so aggressive. Really? We're wow. All right, I'll have to remember that these trains. It's easy to put the brake on, but very difficult to take the brake off. Let's try that again. 
order to get this train to move, we gotta go up to like 60%. You can buy early access to trains 19 on the 22nd. Do you get it right away? Do you get trains right away? If you can buy it that day, do you get immediate access to it? Okay, Sonali. Gotcha. All right, so we are uh, about a hundred y or a thousand yards away from the yard here. I'll have to get that braking down pat. Am I going to use the steel to build you guys a pen? Uh, it's going to be for me to keep me safe from everyone else, or to keep you guys safe. I mean, bum, 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 bum. how tall am I? Like six one, six two. Interesting that they want us to deliver the steel here. Oh, I see. I gotta throw it back up into release. I forgot you have to release a train brake. Okay, we should be here now. Perfect. Man and land hook coupling between indicated vehicles. Roger that. Yeah, exactly, Shrike. I, I know where a lot of stuff is. I really need to learn how to use the computers, though, a little bit more with these trains. There's a uh, onboard computer here. And the only thing I need to know, plus it's all in German, so, you know, you have to learn a little bit of German, too, to know what battery store shelter means, that kind of thing. I mean, I know what it does, but it'd be helpful to learn the language. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, uh, let the signalman know you're ready to proceed. Uh, proceed at restricted speed. Request access to couple the train. I think I already did that. Request access to couple to the train. How do I... Oh, okay. There we go. Stop against the train and connect couplers. And we're away. We don't even have to go that fast. I already re requested access. So we should be clear to go past red. You're trying to learn German as a second language? It's hard? I would imagine, yeah. Alright, so it looks like we're connecting to the lumber train next, which should be right there. Alright, that's what we want to do is smash into it, otherwise we're too far. Actually, you know what's funny? It's not its not like the American ones where they move a little bit. Ah, but you can see what I was talking about. So, in these trains, even though they have metal bumpers, it seems to sink through the front of the train, and that shouldn't be happening. 
because they have metal plates that are supposed to make it so they can clink together and then be connected. This one's fully loaded with uh, logs. Look at that. We get, we're actually hauling a lumber train. That's awesome. Wow, that's a long train, too. All right, I'll have to r roll backwards a little bit. Kind of annoying, though. But yeah, obvious, obviously the way you get a train to connect is by literally ramming into it. Like, into the cars. That's how it works. Right, let's try that now. And we gotta go a little further back. I think this part's a little glitched out. I think, I think they need to fix that. Because that's not how it's supposed to work. There we go. See how I pulled back imme immediately? It's sinking through the cargo. That's not supposed to happen. Alright, let's bump her again. Guys, this is a high-speed, crazy bil billion big old dollar crash, guys. Whoa, high-speed train crash. <laughs> what? Wow, that thing stopped on a dime. <laughs> I didn't think it would stop so quickly. What the? Okay, train, that's not how any of this is supposed to work. All right, now I think I can get out and do it. Whew, what a what a pain. OBS is what we use primarily to make videos, my man. All right, we're connected now. All right, now we got to get up here and flip off the controls. So that's going to be to off. Uh release lights off okay I don't know why I won't let you climb down I just have to like yeah that's how that's how it works Romano no one will watch this but if I call it big old crazy high speed you know that's the only way it's either um, you know you do it right and get 4,000 views or you do it wrong and call it big old crazy million dollar crash and then you get 400,000 and people wonder why All right, there we go one B and then proceed I guess we have to change the circuit breaker on this one yeah, plays all the intro, but that's how it works. You gotta, you gotta act as if everything's like breaking must, must see news, even though it's not. Guys, there is a new bush over here in Fortnite. Could it be a secret underground base? Let's speculate. <laughs> but I run experiments all the time on my videos to see what will happen. It's mostly tricking the algorithm. Well, that's gonna be a lot of cars, and that is a heavy train, man. This thing does not accelerate quickly. Yeah, we're in the same train. How do I not have more subs? Uh, view, uh, algorithm suppression due to the fact that mostly I play war games and things with guns and that have World War in the title. YouTube won't, uh, won't promote that because they're scared of that. The algorithm is against that. The cha if I create a second channel and do nothing but brick rigs, Roblox, Fortnite, and all that stuff, it'll be uh, it'll be an instantaneous su success because that's kind of how it works. Uh, Ruder, thank you very much for being here. Good evening from the Naderlots. Well, hello to you. Welcome aboard. All right, we're heading back to a paper mill now uh, at uh, Bolel305. So we're going there now. You're gonna get donuts. Oh. You gotta bring back for everyone. The mist is uh, ambient. Yeah, it looks. This looks cool. It's like a misty morning in Germany. Must be like uh, October or November. It seems.
Yeah, we stream on Twitch on occasion. Check down below in the description for more info on that one. Alright, we're gonna be able to speed up here in about three hundred and uh, about three hundred yards. The <laughs> grills grilled cheese gang, you're you're hungry. Food give. Yeah, I don't know if this has VR. I think you might be able to use the uh, track IR for it, which might be a little better than VR. Because uh, you do have to get out of the train on occasion. When do I plan to visit the Netherlands again? I don't know. I was going to go to Europe again uh, this summer, but everybody got busy, and then we're supposed to go to Japan. It feels like a, yeah. it's, a tr it's a tough time to travel. Like, this last uh, year has been difficult, because everybody's just wanting to go places and to meet up, and unfortunately people are busy uh, is the twitch algorithm better than YouTube's uh, twitch doesn't really work on an algorithm as much that's kind of more off of longtime viewer um, retention in other words every time you go live you should probably go live for about eight hours and build people's loyalty YouTube's more about you know calling something big o crazy with the right tags in order to uh, optimize uh, well SEO search engine optimization for example, um, I could go play R Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 right now, but no one would care. However, if a new Star Wars movie was to be coming out very soon, and I was playing uh, Men of War Assault Squad and I was using the Star Wars mod, that's good SEO because people are going to be looking for that content. Uh, let's see, if you go to the Netherlands, you should visit the Military Museum in Soest. It's awesome. I've been to the car museum. I thought that was cool. Uh oh. Alright, oh, we're going down again. Do do do. The train is pretty nice, though, I must say. Uh, yeah, if you want to see what videos I'm uh, going to have planned here for the next couple days or whatnot, go ahead and check that link. Uh, new video schedule is linked right there in the chat, so you can see what I'm playing and when I'll be playing it. Can't wait for me to play the hospital game, so I'll be honest with you, Keanu. I was supposed to have a video up earlier today, but I forgot to upload it last night before I went to bed. So there'll be a new video up later today, and tomorrow, and on Monday. So the next three days, there should be a couple more videos for you to watch on Project Hospital, which is very fun. I like it because it, it, it really feels, um, it's very, it, it feels very complete. It's not perfect, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice. It's cool how it works. Hi, Rudy. I feel like we were able to go 75 before with our cargo. Yeah, it's like Prison Architect, except they actually uh, took the time to model people's, like, legs and bodies. <laughs> They're not blobs like they are in, uh, in Prison Architect. Not that it's a bad thing. Come to Croatia and take a ride? Oh, man. I would like to go there, man. Croatia is definitely a place I'd go. Hungary, Romania, Estonia, Latvia. Uh, Lithuania. I'm trying to think we're out Poland. Austria, Switzerland. Boy, this is a really nice rail line. This 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 mission right here is good. 
We hold steel one direction, and now we're coming back uh, with lumber on another one. That's really cool. Hi, Blue Boy. How's it going? You love Project Hospital? Good. There's going to be more of it today, I promise. In about, uh, about six hours, I will have to release another video. You're from Denmark. Been to Denmark twice. I have a good friend who's Danish. I like Denmark. It's cool. I haven't had enough Danish food, though. Actually, we probably should pick up the pace a bit. There we go. This cargo is pretty heavy. Oh, well, hey, if you're uh, new around these parts and you haven't yet clicked or tapped that subscribe button, make sure you do that so your name will pop up here and you can join our uh, community. In addition to that, if you drop a super chat or click or tap that join button, cool things will happen on the screen. So make it happen. Whoa, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa with the throttle. Whoa. Whoa. She uh, flattened out again. Have I been to Estonia? No, but it's on my list to go. I just need it. I don't want to go to a country just to go to a hotel and walk around and then go home, you know? I, I really would like to live the life of, uh, you know, like, stay with somebody for a few days from that place. Like, I know people from Turkey, I'd like to go there, hang out for a while, see how they live their lives, that type of thing. The, the people, not, not just staying in a hotel and looking at uh, monuments, that kind of thing. You're thinking about uh, reasons to go to Sweden. The flag is a big, big plus. I think you meant Switzerland. Is that isn't that how that joke works? All right, we really need to slow down here. Well, this train is not stopping. Let's train it. We got a runaway train, boys. She's out of control. Nothing we can do, boys. Have I been to the UK? Nope. It's on the list. I know a lot of great people all over. Unfortunately, just everybody, as this community has gone on uh, longer and longer, people have just uh, gotten older and thus, you know, get married, have kids, go off to college, university, military service in some cases. There's always reasons that, uh, you know, people will just be too busy for the community. You're from Estonia? Good. I'd like to go up there. Uh, Capitalist... Uh, oh, I'll never be able to pronounce it. Tallinn? Tallinn? Something like that? Very cool. Uh, I've seen photos of that. This is beautiful. Uh, where is this list you speak of? Oh, it's just in my mind of like places I'd like to go to. But again, I'd need to know people from those countries. I'd want to actually see, uh, you know, somebody meet me at the airport and like, you know, we go out. Because people who live there know all the cool stuff. Like, I'd hate to go there and just, you know, go off of some travel list where it's like, oh, you should go see this monument and stuff. And it's like, yeah, I'd like to see that. But also, I want to know... Tell me the secrets. Tell me where all the secret cool stuff is. All right, uh, that's it for the shift. Shut down the locomotive and climb down. Okay, what do you want me to do? Shutting down could be as simple as just throwing her into neutral. Uh, oh, set the... Oh, yep, that's it. Climb down and ensure the locomotive is locked. Well, who's going to steal it? Someone's just going to GTA our loco? Well, that was a fun run. I enjoyed that. That was our first one. We're going to do another uh, mission here in just a second. As soon as we're done running down all the way to the, to the end of the tracks here. You're going to the Ukraine in three days? Man, I need to just travel more. I just... I need reasons to go to places because... I feel very guilty if I, if I, if I leave and go somewhere on tour, um, I would, I'd feel bad about not putting, I, I would definitely have videos ready for you guys, but I'd feel guilty not being home and w working on stuff for you guys. I, I just like doing that so much. Oh, there we go. All right, the, uh, Hagen Freight Yard mission for a freight exchange is done. Lots of extra points. Level three. Give me that level four. Yeah, there we go. That was very good. We did a good job on that one. Very good. All right, let's go back to the main menu and make sure we check our next one. You like the new Euro Truck update for the uh, the tr um, the uh, tr the trailers? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Euro Truck, uh, the Baltic Sea DLC. Yeah, that's gonna be uh, Latvia, Lithuania, and Estonia, and uh, the trailer ownership uh, things are out too. 
I live in the state of Minnesota. Come visit Germany. I have. I've gone to Hamburg and Sol Soltau before. Okay, let's go on to a new scenario. Uh, let's see. Returning empty is our next cargo uh, haul. A uh, fresh rake of empty wagons must be hauled north to Letmanthe to keep the wheels of commerce turning. All right, let's do it. So this one I think is going to be tougher because it's not. this one's not going to be very heavy. So we'll be able to speed up pretty quick. I'll have to get used to that. Sweden works too. It's a yellow plus and a, bl a background. Yeah, but it's not like perfectly centered. But I get what you mean. Ah, look at that beauty. A train of empty wagon has been formed up at Plattenberg. They, oh, those need hauling back to the supplier for the next shipment of product. Climb aboard and get going. Okay. Oh, wait, we're going the other way. Do, do, do. Oh, good, the same train, so I know exactly what we're doing. Battery charged. Sit down, reverser to f neutral, let brake charge to 4.5. It's cold and... Yeah, it is. But when I go to Sweden and stuff, it's it's like the same weather. Mm -hmm. I do need to go to Norway and climb some mountains. I gotta get some more, like, friends. What I really need is uh, other friends who are YouTubers because you have a little bit more flexible schedule when you're... Well, certain people need a full-time. Why don't they have voiceovers? Yeah, I know. that Karma, I completely agree with you. A lot of this DLC... There's, there's voice acting in like one or two missions or the tutorial and then everything else is just they don't they didn't even bother to put it in that was annoying to me okay I think we're ready to roll okay Oh, wait, uh, headlights. Or, I mean, uh, wipers. Really? Oh, okay, that's fine. You are my friends? That's true. Alright, let's get going. Tesla trains? Is that even a thing? Does te has Tesla invented a Tesla train? That'd be cool. Okay, so we got to smash into the train in front of us. So I just need to be uh, I just need to be careful with it. Who says I'm not, Donovan? Anyone can roast beef? Dude, I, you know what? I've been wanting to make roast beef recently. And uh, the problem with that is that that's like a four-people meal. So even if I was to get like a couple friends over, that's still a lot of food. And especially, nice thing about a pot roast like that is that you get your, you get your potatoes, your uh, carrots, celery. Um, sometimes people like to put onion in there. And then you probably want to do like some bread on the side uh, for dipping, you know, to get all that wonderful uh, juice and gravy out of there. But uh, still a lot of food. What's happened? Oh, well, in our previous mission, we delivered a, um, a bit of steel to a German steel mill and then brought back uh, some lumber to a, a paper uh, mill, and they're turning that into paper. And now we're in a new mission where we're going to take some empty cars uh, and then deliver them to the other side of the, of the tracks. Alright, what is up with this game with the whole... Like, I smashed into this thing. Like, pretty hardcore. Oh, there you go. Now it's actually starting to register it, right? Maybe that other train mission was glitched or something. Oh, and actually, it prompts me to get out of the stairs. The other, th that other mission wasn't doing that. I had to, like, jump out of the car every time. Uh-oh. Now I can't get back up into the train. Uh-oh. Oh, Rudy, you have a pot roast in the slow cooker? Oh, game, come on now. Alright, so... Okay, now it's coupled. But now the problem is I can't get back up the stairs because the game glitched out by bumping into that train car. 
And there's no way to walk between the cars. You have to get out and go up top. Hmm. Game. Now they need to work on this. There's no way for me to climb the stairs or to jump into the chair. Oh, I said something about it last time. We do we do a lot of talk about that, don't we? Yeah, no, get a stool. Well, there should be a prompt here that pops up on the screen that says climb stairs. That should put me inside the train, but it's not working on any side. It's not working here. And it's not working here. Is there a button just to spawn into the train car itself? Because that's a pretty poor design. I bumped into the train pretty hard, but I wanted to see if that function was working or not. Engine startup. Independent brake. Next objective. Walkway crossover. Hmm. Let's try this. Let me let me save. Let's try this. Let's save. Quit the mission, then we'll come back. We won't restart because I don't want to have to do the whole setup again. But so that's one thing I have noticed though in these missions is that there seems to be a little bit of a glitch with the connection, with coupling, and then also getting back in the train. I mean, obviously you need to have it pop up to where you, you in order to get back into the train, I need to have the prompt pop up for getting back into the train. I can't just like, you know, magically climb. Oh, there we go. All right, now we got it. Okay, so now we can do what we want. All right, so go to off. Train brake release. Lights off. And head to the other cab. Okay, now we can do it. So it's all about, like, bumping into that train car like that. Whew. Okay, we saved the day. All right, lights on. Full service to test braking. Okay, looks good. Okay, we're ready to roll. What a horn. Sounds like a 1980s uh, synth band. just a Casio keyboard that someone's just holding the key on. Oh, it's a beautiful day, though. Oh, I forgot. We have to flip our wipers on again. There we are. Okay, here we go. So we're hauling essentially empty cars now. That's where chat is. Everybody in chat is in the back of the train. So again, welcome aboard, everybody. Nice to have our... Uh, hey, by the way, nice to have Mr. Blob as a new sponsor here today. And Sonali, again, thank you very much for your uh, super chat. Greatly appreciated. If you guys want to drop a super chat too, feel free. Otherwise, uh, you can also support via click or tapping that join button. Otherwise, just sit back and enjoy the show. You like the horn? Oh, I don't know about that. Anyone from Africa? Uh, I bless the rains down in Africa. I'm going to take some time to do the things we never had, really. Real Cheese Gang, I'm bored with Rudy. Rudy, we did some fishing the other day. I saw your fishing video go up. I uh, I actually went back. Oh, Rudy, I got a 41 kilogram sturgeon. Does that beat Daniel's? I need to I need to check with Daniel to see if that beats his 41. Or I don't know what he had. Caught a 41 pound sturgeon in a. Hey, if we ever if we live stream us fishing, like a me, Rudy, Daniel, anybody else from chat, if you guys have Ultimate Fishing Simulator. Would you guys like to have or watch a fishing contest? We, we, you know, we take an hour, maybe two, find out who has the, uh, you know, the biggest fish within that time, and we declare a winner. Maybe we can put some money on the line. Maybe I'll uh, buy the winner a uh, $10 Steam card or something like that. Oh, $10. Let's do like a $50. There, we'll put some real money on the line. $50 uh, Steam gift card. That'll be cool. Daniel could use that. Or Rudy. Favorite soda? Uh, soda Fadu from Strombi Incorporated. My favorite flavor is strawberry. Oh, good. We can go up and speed now, finally. Yeah. Oh, his was 56 kilograms? Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was like 40. Oh, man. 
Do I like birds? Yeah, I think uh, the Apache is a great one. The Chinook. I also like the Mi-24. Oh, you have, you have pain for me spamming the horn? I was just experimenting to see what it sounded like. Kind of just doesn't sound like anything, to be honest. I like the American train horns. That's like that's a serious horn. Every other European train is like, oh no, we're about to crash into a car. We better blow the horn. <laughs> it's like okay, that's not a horn. What is grilled cheese? So grilled cheese is a uh, essentially it's just a sandwich that is uh, toasted on either side in a in a skillet. So what people will do is they'll take two pieces of bread, and they'll butter uh, both sides. Well, actually, just one side of the bread really. And then they'll put some cheese in the middle, and they'll kind of toast or fry the outside of the bread, and then they'll put the cheese in the middle so it's all melted. And some people like to put ham in it too. I think I'd probably like the ham in there. And then they just kind of cut it. It's really it goes well with like a tomato soup. Um, it's just kind of like a it's kind of kind of a like a toasty, except you uh, you can make it on a skillet. I suppose there's probably many ways you can make them. My friend uh, Strombi from Sweden asked me like what what a long time ago like what what is grilled cheese how do you make that what is that so you butter the outside fry it all up and I mean it's nothing extravagant I'm sure I'm sure it has other names in different countries it's not it's not really an American thing I would imagine to put a piece of cheese between two things of bread and heat it up Raptor because we're in Germany can we have a hot dog gang uh, well we have a bratwurst. Uh, oh, we have to... F Grilled Cheese Gang rhymes. What would we call our bratwurst? Bratwurst... It's got to start with a B. Bratwurst... Bratwurst band? Bratwurst... I don't know. We have to think of a thing of a group that would be considered with a B. Wow, look at this beautiful landscape here. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful German homes over there. Oh, that's actually a warehouse. Looks like a small town, though. Yeah, it looks like there's some houses back there. Absolutely gorgeous. Do I like parakeets? Oh, the bird? Yeah. Especially with a little barbecue sauce. Yeah, brats are awesome. Uh, they're really the ultimate summer food. You know it's summer when someone breaks out the grill and uh, they're having brats on the grill. Oh, do I have a PS3? Yeah, I have a PS3, but uh, I, I play games on P, uh, on the PC specifically. Oh, wait a minute. We have a red light coming up here, and I'm never going to be able to stop in time. Hold on a second. Maybe we can actually avoid dying. Wow, never say never with a German train. Holy crap. Okay, we have a red light. We have to stop here. Oh, is that because of that train? What does the line look like? Why are we being told to stop? I guess I'll roll ahead slowly, but I don't see why we would have been told to stop. Grilled cheese with tomato soup, yeah. I mean, I haven't made it in a million years, but if somebody, uh, I mean, if somebody had me grilled cheese and tomato soup, I'm gonna eat that. Yes, even trains have traffic, yeah. The light is red here, though. We can't go past that. Whoop! Don't need any more speed. can't go past that signal. 
Do I have to ask for authorization to proceed or what? I don't see any... R There's this train. But he's not even going to be on the same train line. Wait a minute. Do we have to... No, we don't have to be on that line. We have to continue to our destination up here. why we're asked to stop. Denied. No route available. Hmm. Well, I could imagine we're waiting for one train to come by. But it's not even going to be on the same tracks as us. Oh, nowhere else for me to go. <laughs> There's nowhere else for me to go. So we just have to wait, I suppose. Yes, yeah, so it wants me to stop at the objective, but if I pass here, I will fail the mission. If I pass this line right here, we, we fail. We're not... This giant red light means don't go past. And if I, uh, if I ask for uh, permission to go past that, it says denied. No route available. Which is interesting because there's no route in which passes another train. Is there any other tra train on the tracks? Here. But he's so far ahead we should be at a totally different signal at that point. Maybe that's what we're waiting for is that train to get there. But I would imagine we'd be permitted at least to move into this area. I guess we have to have to wait for the other train to go through. Yeah, I requested authorization, but they denied. I think we're waiting for a train to go through. These two trains are awfully close. Look, there's one here. And then just down the line is another train. That's dangerous. They don't, they're not even separated by a signal. Look at that. Well, we can save and go, but if I go, we, we get in trouble. And I fail the mission, so I, I already, I'm already telling you what's going to happen. We'll just have to be patient. It's beautiful, though. Well, I can't hear you. I can only read your text. All right. So I'm wondering exactly what we're waiting for, though. Like, what is the exact reason why we can't proceed? Where is the train? I guess let's just follow the route, see what happens. We're looking at that bl the green line on the top. Trying to see if there's any trains in the way. Do 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 do. There he is. Now, wait a minute, he just passed the signal, so do we have a green light now? Still no. Hmm. 
Now I didn't stop too far for the objective. The objective is here. And we've been asked to stop by the train signals. Well, I'm assuming at the very least we'll be authorized to go as soon as he reaches this uh, train. So here's the train here. Yeah, there is a train in the block, but what's interesting is that there were other signals around, so I don't know if we're waiting for this one guy or what. But we're told to wait, so we have to we have to go. Now stopping more near the signal is not going to make it change green. This isn't an intersection, man. Like if, if we put it into running and stop near the signal, it's not going to just magically turn green. And if it does turn green, it'll be because that other train reached the station up ahead. Here goes the other train. So it's passing another section. Hold on, don't you go anywhere. Okay, let's take a look. I think we're just waiting for this train to go through. Which is weird because there's different sections of the block track that should allow him to go. Oh, wait a minute. Here. As soon as he reaches that, we'll get a green light. What's up, Mario? Yeah, we're just waiting to depart now. Okay, there he goes. Now that should give us the green light, right? Nope, still red. Incredible. What possible train could we be waiting on? He's so far up the line. Do 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 do. Wait a minute, he's stopping in a line that we don't even need to be on. I don't understand, is this a glitch? I mean, I truly don't even see anything. If we if we pass this, it's... Uh, no, not five more yards and break. That means we need to stop before that line. Touching or crossing that line means we fail. No, there's not a train in front of us. It's not on the map. 
The only train that was in front of us was the uh, one that arrived at the station. I'm going to go ahead and just drive past here and see what happens. It'll be a fail, but maybe we can reload. And it, it might be a glitch. We've already seen one glitch where I couldn't even get back up into the cabin. So let's see what happens here. It'll it'll say fail now. See? So let's do uh, load last checkpoint. Let's do load last... Uh, can I do main menu and load last save? Last play. There we go. Oh, don't tell me it's going to restart. Because I saved right before that. Well, now it's green. Look at that. Now it's green magically. Well, that must have been a glitch, man. That was definitely a glitch. Now the, the signal is green. So weird. Yeah, and there comes that other train that arrived before. Okay, well, it was definitely a glitch. It should have not been red like that for that long. Okay, well now at least we get to finish the mission. Okay, so definitely some problems with this uh, DLC in terms of a uh, few functionality, including getting in the train after bumping into some cargo, difficulty of connecting cargo, and some signals not being triggered properly in order to, uh, in order to go back to being green whenever we pass through a... Uh, you know, like a controlled area. Train sounds weird. Uh, it's electric. So that might be why. Well, now we get to roll through, so that's nice. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this train yard. Absolutely gorgeous. Little rail station there. Did you miss anything? About five minutes of me being stopped at uh, some station for some reason. But we're all good now. This game is full of bugs and glitches. Yeah, there are some problems with it, but it's nothing that's unplayable. We've just had to reload a few times. Luckily, that worked. little bit of rain out too it's gorgeous if you guys are new around here remember uh, if you'd like to see more of this content more train sim world or trains in general there's some new train games coming out by the end of the year so make sure you click or tap that subscribe button in order to be a part of it and um, your name should pop up here and we'll welcome you to the community are you able to press every button in the game uh, no but pretty much almost every button not all buttons but most And you can also bring the blinds down. So if you want to nap while you're driving, <laughs> you can definitely do that. A little dangerous, though. Alright, 8.5 miles. Am I having fun? Yeah, I'm a little frustrated by a few quirks of the, uh, of the DLC. But to be honest, I... I think they'll hash this out by the end of the weekend. Uh, if they take note of players' complaints and are working on it for the weekend, it, it's it's going to be just fine. Why is it glitchy? Because it just was released, that's why. They didn't fully test everything, I can tell. Some of these things are pretty glaring problems, but also I think they have pretty easy solutions. So, uh, What type of train is this? It's an electric train. I believe it's the 1-2... One two, one two two point five or something, something like that. What's my favorite type of donut, dude? I really like donuts with peanuts on them. Like if you just take like a uh, chocolate donut or put like maple syrup or something on it, or uh, like ch uh, chocolate or, or maple or whatever, and um, put a little some peanuts on there. I like that. Also jelly filled, but 
don't often eat donuts, though. Although they do have them quite frequently at work. My actual, my full time. All right, 7.6 miles then to our destination. There goes another train hauling uh, what seems to be steel. Seems to be how the Germans haul steel in those cars. What's peanut butter? Oh, peanut butter is like um, you take like peanut and peanut oil and you kind of... It's, it's kind of like a cream. It's like a peanut cream that you can put onto uh, sandwiches and such. Very nice. Have I seen a Lamborghini? Yeah, absolutely. Favorite food? Oh, I really would like some hash browns right now, to be honest. That would be awesome. Boy, look at this. Just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, can you get a shot out? Sure. Let me go ahead and get my gun. There you go. 6.9 miles to the destination. We're coasting along at a pretty good speed. He kind of looks like me. Yeah, I did model him after myself a little bit. Let's see if we can actually take a look. Looks like we're getting a little bit of a downgrade here, too. Six point three miles. This train's really allowed to go along at quite a good speed. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, that's exactly it, Kim. This train, this tunnel at least has lights. That's cool. Boy, there's some beautiful landscape around here. Hi, Kenneth. Wow, it's awfully beautiful out there. Hi, chat. How's it going? Oh man, look at the beautiful town here along the canal. Or is that a river? Ah, it could be a canal. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, we have to come to a stop again in 400 yards? What the? I'm really not trusting this game anymore. All aboard the freight train. All right, we have to stop because that marker's red again, and I think that's false. 
There's no reason why that should be red anymore. There it is, red. There's nothing in our way. Oh, this this mission is totally ruined. There's no reason why we should stop. Yeah, there's diesel electric in the game. Not in this DLC, though. Everything's electric. Okay. I'm just going to creep up here and then see if we can reload. It's totally wrong, though. No Netherlands in the map, no. Not yet. They might add Dutch trains. I am looking at chat. I'm responding quite frequently to people's requests and questions. Okay, so I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be allowed to go past this signal. I think it might be another glitch where it just magically needs to turn green. There's literally like no other train in the block. I think what I'm just, I'm gonna just pass it. So let's get our let's get our fail out of the way. Oh no, guys, we failed this. Oh no, I should have been paying attention. Oh. Okay, and then we're going to um. Let's see. So let's go back and then I'm going to load from our save. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, I think it was a glitch, Kenneth. Yeah, see now it's green. Look at that. I think there's a problem on this line where the signals are automatically green, red and then they should be turning green but they're not. So look at that. Now yet another line that's green. Yeah, there's a problem on this game. Uh, do you still play? Are you going to play? You should play, play, you should play, play, play questions like that. Those can be answered with that link in chat. So if you have a question about when are you playing, you should play, do you play, go ahead and either check that new video thing or check the list of, uh, of videos. So check the channel or check that list. Boy, I don't know why this game keeps having me stop at signals that we're, we should be clear to pass. Doing well there, Michelle. Thank you for asking. Should be able to cruise along until we get up to f a little higher speed. At this rate, this mission's taking like two times as long as it should because we're just waiting at stops and uh, signals are not being uh, not being correct. Oh wait a minute! Oh yep, yeah, uh, the windshield wipers are still on. Looks like all the signals are still green, so at least we can get there. Yeah, I just don't see any other trains on the line, so there really should be no reason for us to stop. I, w I wish, Eddie, I wish we could go above 50. We can actually do 50 now. Alright, so there we go. 
And guys, if you could go ahead and just knock off the repetitive uh, requests in chat for me to do something, that's probably not going to be happening. Right now I'm trying to entertain a bunch of people while driving the train, so if uh, you want me to say something important or uh, have a special request, you can always drop a super chat, which is the greatest way to not only support the content that you really love, but also uh, to get your uh, question or inquiry to the top of the list and to make sure it's answered. So if it's super important, go ahead and click or tap that super chat button. Uh, all trains have a wake up button you have to press in certain intervals otherwise it'll self stop that right over here is this thing I think the uh, SIFA so we have to hit that every once in a while I don't know if they've implemented that in this game but it's uh, I forget exactly what the acronym means but I looked at the manual and it's something about like um, and it just it basically makes sure that the driver's in there and paying attention that type of thing Thank you, Sunny Day. Yeah, we need an umbrella, huh? Well, luckily we have our windshield wipers. Point three miles to our destination. We're almost there. Speeding a bit. I gotta make up the time we lost from all the uh, all the times we had to come to like a full stop. Uh, Raptor Wits Transport did Yao Cat if within the Netherlands. Ooh, Matt. I'm sorry. I, d I don't know what you're trying to say. Uh, what kind of transport did, did I, oh, what did I do when I was in the Netherlands, like, uh, train-wise? It was probably, uh, well, it was just basically trains. I don't know if we can actually complete this mission with all, all these reloadings and everything like that. This is ridiculous, the amount of times that the signal has been red for no reason where we need to reload for it to turn green. I don't know if there's a, a report or something on this game, or if I'm doing something wrong. Oh, this isn't even right. Load at checkpoint. This... <laughs> <laughs> loaded the save. Wow, this mission is, like, not playable. This is very disappointing, actually. Let's see if I can reload from the, uh, from the previous save. Let's try that. Hopefully it doesn't load me from the same checkpoint, otherwise I'm out. Because there's, re there's really no reason that those signals should be read, according to the map. See, we've stopped at yet another green signal, but... So we keep driving past these red signals, but I don't understand why they're red or how to get them green. We need to drive to our destination, but it's just, it's completely, this is completely glitched out. Well, I guess we'll keep trying to beat it, but I think there's a big problem. Uh, in the English scenario, you had to ask operator for green. Is it similar? So, in this mission, when I request uh, to pass a signal, uh, they keep saying no, no other route available. Which is interesting because there's no trains there, so essentially the player is just going to sit at the at the light forever and ever and ever. The signals don't change like they should, and there's no other trains on the track. Like if you if you follow the route, there's one other train that's that was on our line, but he got to the train. Like so, it, it seems like every time we reach a signal such as this, we have to stop, reload the game, and then do it again and again and again. So long as the signal's red. Because the other train we were waiting on arrived here. And this stopped. So I don't... I really don't know what's going on. No, train buttons don't have anything to do with it. Well, we'll keep trying to beat this one, though. But I've seen a few glitches in this game, so... It wouldn't surprise me if they had some other ones. Well, the only other mission left to do is uh, one that's going to take about an hour, and uh, we'll save that for tomorrow. 
it's going to be a passenger hull in a big storm, kind of like this. So the only way to do this, it seems, is just to save before every uh, red light and then uh, reload and hope that it turns green. It's a very beautiful simulation though, at least things seem to be working now okay. I'm more concerned now about watching the uh, signals than anything else. We should have been there by now, to be honest. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota is where I'm from. Yeah, I'll save if we come up to another red light. What I need to do now is just watch out for the uh, for the red signals, that's all. Have I ever been on a ship? Uh, in the Netherlands, yeah. I went to a, a museum, uh, I think in Amsterdam. I think. Were we in Amsterdam for that? Yeah. Yeah, the Maritime Museum in Amsterdam. Okay, so two point six miles to our next destination. Hopefully the line's all green now. This one seems to have had some false uh, indicators there. Oh, you're from Massachusetts? Wonderful. I think we are uh, pretty much clear to go to the next stop in two miles. We'll have to report this one for having a glitch, or at least someone will have to look into it. I mean, I don't understand why the game would make us stop if there's nothing in the way. Uh, why, Steven? Because that's exactly what it is. That's what a super chat is. That's you supporting the content and the creators that you like. Okay, so I see another stop light here. We just save. Now it's going to give us the fail again. Okay. Then let's reload this. There's really no reason it should be doing this. It's really strange. Now, magically, the signal's green. Hmm, interesting. Why am I not using safety systems? Uh, well, because one, the CFI, I don't think, has to be used in the game. It's just there to simulate it. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just driving it how I feel like I want to drive it. Okay, so 1.5 miles to the destination. Yeah, those are beautiful. Look at those cool bridges and houses. Look at that. They really look awesome. All the tracks and everything are just really cool. I do like the layout of this route. I think this is probably my favorite. This would be my favorite so far if it wasn't creating so many issues, you know? But at least it seems to be functioning for the most part. We just have a workaround for the uh, red lights. Okay, so now it's 
showing green. There we go. Now we're finally down to less than one mile to our final stop here. Boy, that took like, you know, 10 or 15 more minutes than it should have just to kind of work around the game's weird glitches. Luckily, there was a workaround. Uh, what's my favorite DLC? Uh, I like this German one so far. I really do like uh, hauling uh, cargo on these German lines. Oh, what's the coin thing in the top right? That there is our XP um, points and such that you get for doing... Uh, mission correctly, that kind of thing. Let's save just in case. Pulling in here now. Finally to the destination. Yeah, we'll be playing City Skylines later today. Going to be finishing up more of the port. And then tomorrow more Train Sim World of a large passenger haul through a storm just like this. Actually, I think it might be uh, even... The st storm might actually be worse. And then after that more City Skylines tomorrow too. Assuming we're gonna request authorization to pull into the yard down there somewhere. Oh, local crew will take it from here. Good. Assuming we just leave then. Oh, never mind. Master switch to off, parking brake on. Deactivate lights. Well, that was kind of a pain. Alright, well I'm glad I came back to complete this one a few times, but there's definitely some glitches on this mission specifically. Okay. Alright, wow, there's only one scenario left for the DLC. A lot more challenging as we uh, have to finish up... Uh, well, you know, to do this all realistically would be a little bit more challenging to learn all the lines. There's a lot more to this than that. Hi there, Pinto. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to do Storm Trail, which is going to be hauling some passengers down the whole line um, in a storm. It's going to be a big old crazy storm, apparently. It's a worsening autumn storm, so it'll get bad as we go along further. It's going to be interesting. All right, guys, later today, watch out for City Skylines probably in about, uh, let's see, three or four hours. So we'll do a, a build on our port, and then tomorrow we'll do our build on the um, the uh, water. No, we're going to do a, a stadium tomorrow as well. We're going to start working on our big O stadiums, and then, uh, yeah, more uh, train sim world tomorrow. If you guys haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button. Make sure you click or tap that like button on your way out. Uh, there should be some more content up, a more planet, uh, or rather, uh, project hospital later today, too. Sometime in about uh, maybe four or five hours as well. So that's it for now, everyone. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone.